If you're on the fence about buying a GPU, get one really soon, really, really soon, because this AI boom, it's affecting DDR5 memory, but it's soon going to trigger GPU prices, or at least I think it is. I agree with this article here. It might trigger an explosion in costs. So again, if you know you have some money saved and you're thinking about getting a video card, you I know prices are expensive. You might want to go ahead and do it sooner than later. Remember, if you enjoy content like this, you can help me out. It is completely free by doing what's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment. So why will GPU prices start to rise? Well, it is because, indirectly or directly, because of the AI boom which is going on. These companies are chewing up every single thing that they can, namely server-grade stuff, right, like memory and SSDs, but also video cards. SSDs have gone up between 20 to 60%. I think they will increase even more in 2026. <laughs> <laughs> DDR5 modules, well, they've gone up two or three times. And these video cards, the memory that's on those, the new ones, is GDDR6. And there's shortages. And, well, because of that and the demand, the prices are going to go up as well. Probably not a whole lot. You're probably looking at maybe, you know, $20 to $100 per video card overall. But it could go even higher, right? Because as we know, who would have thought that 64 gigabyte kits, consumer grade kits, would cost like $1,600? Because that's what they're costing here right now in Canada. And I think they could even double. It could be two or three or $4,000 in another few months or another six months. If demand keeps rising, if shortages keep happening, there's no end really. And it's just the way it is. It's a horrible situation. It's a horrible situation. If you're thinking about building a computer or buying a pre-built, it's expensive now, I know, but now would be the time to pull the trigger and get it. Now imagine this. Other companies take Micron's horrible example and start cutting their consumer brand or brands. Imagine what happens then. Is that the end of building PCs and the whole PC gaming thing? Well, Probably not because other companies will come in and take over and make some money in that particular segment because not every company has the capabilities of producing products for AI companies or at least server-grade products for them. So, you know, I don't want to get all doom and gloom here, but things don't really look that great. And there's also a rumor about apparently NVIDIA is going to stop supplying VRAM as well to its board partners. I mean... <laughs> That's certainly not going to help with GPU prices. And have you heard much lately about on the consumer side of things with GPUs about refreshes? Like, for example, the 50 series super versions? Nope, not really. 